interesting. You've been following this saga with the our saga. friends uh, down under. Yes, the Australian way money. far, right? We we sent them a whole. We, they sent me postage. We sent them a playbill, and they yeah. wrote back. They just adore you, and they sent. Here's a picture of them holding the playbill. There they are. Oh, how cute! And even more importantly, here's a picture of them holding the CD. <laughs> Jackie Hoffman live at Joe's Pub, which is now making the kids laugh down under. And uh, they wrote me a lovely letter. They're thanking us, and uh, our enclosed are some Australian coins that will hopefully cover the 70 cents you kindly paid for. <laughs> Uh, for the record, we are Aussies, not Kiwis. That's New Zealand. Oops. Oopsie. Here's, here's Australian coinage. Mm, that would not be okay. Kiwi coins. No, Aussie coins. That's right. Those are Aussie we've coins. We've all learned something here today. I think we've all learned something here today. And P.S. James and Emily. P.S. And here's the part I wanted to get to, Krista. Could okay. you please read this to Krista? All right, I'm ready. Read this out to Krista. They want like a reciting. Okay. Krista, I think you are beautiful and incredibly talented. I hope one day I get the chance to work with you. James. James. Well, thank you, James. Thank you, James. I don't know how Emily feels about that. <laughs> But there they are. She seems pretty cool. Young and attractive and happy. And yeah. James wants to work. Work. With you. Work with you. He wants me? to work. <laughs> These are big, heavy coins. Let's show the viewers. Wow. And they paid the postage for. Aww. Big, nice, fancy coins. Very pretty. Uh huh. See, look at that. We're going to bring the world together here on Jackie's Vlog. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure those coins are going to come in really handy. <laughs> You're going to have to make another trip down to Penn Station. Or That's Florida right. Or I can go to went. Australia and buy a newspaper. Yeah, let's go. We can go visit our friend James. Well, this is actually a Jackie Hoffman first because I actually have friends at the show tonight. Friends have never come to see the Adams Family because... They know how lousy the press said it was, and they consider themselves above it. But tonight they have made an exception and paid the three-digit figure to come see us. So maybe afterwards I can look forward to more bad reviews. So, Adam, you were recently at a performance of In the Heights. Uh, yeah. Yeah, In the Heights, the feel-good musical about Washington Heights. The musical that took the Tony of 2008 away from Xanadu. Yep. And what did you what did you find for sale in the lobby at In the Heights? Um, one of the actresses, uh, Solo CD, was uh, on sale in the lobby of In the Heights. One of the actresses, what's that? Her uh, her solo CD. Her solo CD was on sale in the lobby. So like something like this one? Um, yeah, exactly like this, like, like a that. cast member, mm -hmm. like Jackie Evan Live at Joe's Pub, which is not on sale in the Adams Family lobby, but In the Heights was featuring yep. a performer's solo CD in the lobby. Yes. How interesting. Maybe it's the key to their long-running success. Here we are going into Broadway Barks at the historic Broadway Barks. Pugsley, Pugsley Adams with a Broadway Barks t-shirt. Broadway <laughs> Barks t-shirt. Actually keeping his swag, whereas mine I can't get rid of fast enough. <laughs> this is actually the new Lurch in the Adams family. This dog is going to play Lurch. <laughs> and sing Move Toward the Darkness. Move Towards the Darkness. Here they go, up on the great stage. Here's Hello. <laughs> Here's the beautiful Cheyenne Jackson with a parfait. <laughs> there she is. There she is. Beautiful Cheyenne. Here to help the doggies and the kitties. Say hi to Broadway.com. They all love you. It's an auditorium that's entirely covered in plastic because there's a lot of urinating that goes on here at Broadway Barks and God knows what else. So the auditorium has been doused in plastic. And here's the puppy that I got to hold. Here's the puppy that I got to hold to take a picture with. <laughs> Hi, puppy. There's a little tiny kitty. All these trucks represent uh, animal rescue people. All these people doing a great mitzvah, as we say in Judaism. <laughs> Hello, darling, who are you wearing? You look fabulous. Okay, let's do it. Okay, and here, oh, 
look at this. Look at this boo boo. Look at the boo boo. Hi, beauty. I love you so much. You're such a chocolatey beauty. <laughs> Okay, look at this meticulously written. So, hi, my name is Rich. I'm a huge fan of yours. You've done so many great characters over the years. It's impossible to pick a favorite. I realize you were busy with the show. Not really, Rich. It's act two. So I will keep this short, but I am a little afraid. Should you send me an autographed playbill, that it might get lost somehow, sending it back and forth to have them sign it. I would hate to lose your autograph. Oh, man. This is like a worst-case scenario, kid. Grew up in my house. Do you know if any others would sign it if I decided to take the risk and send it back to the theater? I don't know what that means. Thank you, Miss Hoffman, for taking a moment, and especially for the many years of great characters. Ah, I'm sure it's an incredible show. Ah, he didn't even see it. Here's his envelope. Oh, my. Where's the envelope? I just lost it. <laughs> oh! Ho, ho, ho. Lizzie Trosty of Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Dear Jackie Hoffman, congratulations on getting the part of Grandma. I saw it for my 13th birthday and laughed every time you were on stage. Also, I love watching your blog. I'm going to the show again with my friend to see it as a birthday present from my mom. My parents are divorced. My mother said when I told her when I wanted to see it again, but you already saw it. But then I answered, no, I love it, and you got to see it. Can't wait to see it again. Oh, God. The par your parents can't afford to take you to this several times, honey. Divorce is very expensive. Don't worry. I didn't ask you for Nathan Lane or BB's autograph. Aw, bless you. Airmail. Jackie's got some airmail from Here's a pretty postcard. Please give a postage coupon to the fabulous Jackie Hoffman. That would be me. Jackie Hoffman. Just watch Kissing Jessica Stein several times. It is so good. It's a lovely film. Felt compelled to write your fab. I still watch scenes over and over and again, especially after a strip. If you could send me an autograph, Adam's family photo. I appreciate it. I hear you are a hoot. Cheers. Linda from Australia. I guess she, now we're post people to the world. And here's a postal coupon. So I guess we know what the next six episodes of the vlog will be about now. We have to walk around with a postage coupon. Blaine Gerber. Oh boy, who furnished his own playbill. Thank you for your hysterically and wonderful and inspiring blogs. I've enjoyed watching every one of them. My name is Blaine. I'm a big fan of the Addams Family, the cartoons, the 60s TV show, Ooh, Someone Who's Not 13. I was recently in New York. My, uh, decided to buy a ticket. My investment of $96.50 was definitely well worth the price of seeing you, and the rest is one of a truly magnificent and talented cast. Thank you, Blaine. That's very classy. You're probably wondering why I'm mailing you my playbook from the show. If you open it up to the page where the cast members' photos are displayed, you'll find that as I was able to get some autographs, including yours, outside the stage door. Much to my regret, Nathan Lane did not come out as I was hoping he might. I've tried on two previous occasions to get his autograph outside the stage door of both the producers and the odd couple, but was unsuccessful both times. By the way, I'm Jewish just like you. Oh, we're playing that card, are we, Blaine? And our birthdays are only one year. I was born on November 10th. Okay, Wikipedia has me down as being born on November 11th. That is wrong. Wikipedia is wrong. My birthday is November 29th. Sincerely, Blaine. Okay, Blaine, we're going to bother Nathan for your autograph. I'm taking a big risk. Well, that's all the fan mail. That is all our fan mail. I've got an Australian coupon. Much to my regret, Nathan Lane did not come out of the stage door as I was hoping he might. I've tried on two previous occasions to get his autograph 
outside the stage door of both the producers and the odd couple, but was unsuccessful both times. All right. All right, Blaine, let's hope for the best. I think he's in a pleasant humor. Thank you, Mr. Lane. Okay, I'm outside of a Terrence Mann's dressing room. Uh, uh, Terry, I'm just going to read you this letter, okay? We're, we're not going to film you. Dave's not here, man. Not here. Uh, <laughs> Dave, Dave's not Sam, here, man. Dave's not here, man. Dave's not here, man. Okay. Jackie, I was wondering where Terrence Mann is during the video blog. I never see him. There's no Dave here, man. There's no Dave. Wow, dude. Uh-uh. Okay, thanks. Dude, there's no Dave here. There's no Dave here. Okay. okay. Thanks. Yeah. Finally, after all the piles of amateur crap and requests for playbills and Australian postal coupons that you people sent me, someone finally made something decent. This was made by a couple of gentlemen who waited outside the theater. It's a very cool little objet de art. You can read it both ways. A little tribute to yours truly, to Grandma. And this is the best part because the Grandma shirt was discontinued. They made me a Grandma shirt. Can you see that? Grandma's in the house. Ooh, snap, snap. Well, I wasted no time and having this thing put up once I finally got something decent. And don't all y'all get ideas and start sending me dreck. Now I got one decent thing, and Zach Lurch, who I'm sure is very jealous that I got this beautiful thing made just for me, is putting this unique, unique thing that up that was made just for me. You're talking about this? Yeah. We all got them. Every, everybody got them? Yeah, look. That's mine. It's pretty much the same, just different picture, different names. I was carrying it in my pocket to remind me that people care. Fuck. <clears throat> right here? Yeah.